Good morning, folks. Lots to discuss here today, so let's wake up quickly. First, the southern filaments held true while facing Earth, but one destabilized as it began departing yesterday. There was no CME, but that filament is indeed now gone. It began the day as calm as it and the others had crested this week, but a surge dropped the plasma back down to the star through a connection point so no hider flare was produced. Pretty to watch for sure. But beyond that, the only Earth-facing solar activity of note is a development of the sunspot right below the Earth scale there on the north incoming, solid growth. The solar flaring saw just some moderate sea flares last night, and the situation appears fairly bleak in terms of the sunspots. The departing groups seem to be biggest and most complex, while that new sunspot we just saw grow is magnetically separated right and left. Can't really tell the situation at the limb, but they're small along with what's turning in on the south. Three days of solar wind, Speed may have peaked yesterday, meaning one of the streams has ended. We will await others while the electrons get back up off the floor and our shield brushes its shoulders off from the storm yesterday. Coronal holes. Dark. The equatorial portion heading for center disk is part of the northern positive opening. Its power has been in a bit of flux, and this morning it is only moderate at best. Let's go to Soho because we have a rare northern sun-diving comet on our hands. Soho is missing data as usual, so the video jumps, but you'll see the comet much closer to the sun here. This will come in today right at the departing sunspot groups and will be something to watch for sure. Top quakes of the last day include one above average in the Caribbean. Anything over magnitude 4 here, you're getting significant. Also, the northwest and up the Canadian coastline saw some increased seismicity, but nothing major. However, the volcanoes have indeed been more active, including in the Kuril Islands and in Indonesia. Mount Sinabung has set fire to local villages with a molten dust and ash cloud release. Got to evacuate. Top story today requires careful listening. A star once entered the solar system. This allegedly took place a very long time ago barely clipped the Oort cloud and allegedly posed no risk to life here on Earth. I know where many of you are going with this inside your head and we will discuss it in detail on Fly on the Wall this Saturday, if not before then. Great article from the ESA on their SMOS mission looking for acidity here on Earth. The article is as good as the pictures, folks. And that goes double here. David Hyde is back after winning a little battle of his own and the collective is charging forward. Newest blog post here is on quakes triggered by hydraulic fracturing, or fracking. It is well researched, cited, and a great piece in general. And by the way, if you haven't seen the daily news button up at the top of the blog page, I'd check that out. Last bit of news. While we are doing Fly on the Wall this Saturday, the NOAA website will be down for service. They claim that they will be on standby in case of major space weather events, but just be advised of the planned shutdown this weekend. Coming to Australia, two cyclones remain with the first one making landfall in the north and the second creeping on to Queensland coastlines with an eye to curl and chill out for a while. Meanwhile, New Zealand is kind of in a funky situation with opposing concentric wind flows away from it. Don't think I've ever seen that before. They'll join the cyclone zones on precipitation watch tonight. Water from the west refuses to leave us alone as it crests and races quickly across the continent, meeting cold air and never quite making it to the east as liquid. Waking up in Louisville this morning, it's negative numbers, and if you heard about the six-hour standstill on I-65 yesterday, yeah, we were in it. Please don't discount these winter events one bit. Over in Europe, the power low mysteriously stalling over the Iceland volcano draws a major convergence. So much moisture coming up that leading edge, it curls both into the low and around the high pressure to the southeast. Watch the cloud line and the curl out both ways there. Got the current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.